Hey there. For this video I made some multi monitors with lights inside them. They're really compact and it works very very well. I've been wanting to play around with lighting for a while on a you know a shoestring budget kind of lighting and this is very effective and I'm very happy with the results. So I hope you get something out of this and I hope you enjoy the video. I made myself a template for the monitors. It just seemed like a size that I wanted to make them. <laughs> there was no real reason behind it. And I just used this template to measure each one out to save me having to muck around ruling each one. And I've also put a line, a dotted line down between each monitor in the center so I know where to score instead of cutting all the way through just to save confusion when I'm cutting the actual screens out of the uh, the piece of cardboard. I've also got a piece for the back which is exactly the same size. Very poorly in screen, sorry about that. And I'm just going to cut each of the screens out very carefully and very very thoroughly. You want to get all the way up into the corners nice and hard on this so you've got nice clean lines and clean cuts so you're not pulling the cardboard away and making little fuzzy edges. And just very carefully pop them out but I, I uh, scored down this and I make sure that I do this vertically make sure the lines of the corrugations are going vertically because you're not going to be able to fold it if you've got them going horizon horizontally running through it and just keep scoring you'll be able to feel when you're through the first layer I was going to have a wrap around edge to save me you know playing around with assembly but the cardboard just wasn't really doing the th what I needed. It wasn't strong enough. It was starting to peel and, and bend a little. So I decided to cut the edge right off. And I just used a bit of a, a coffee stirrer later for the, the edging. Just going to pop them all out. Very carefully. I want this to be very, very clean. And then once I've done that, I'm going to bend each of them. You see I flipped it over. I'm using the shiny side because I want it without corrugations and clean as well. And just give it a, a very careful and firm bend. I, I'm going to use the rulers because it just makes it nice and even and I'm not going to ruin the cardboard. Cardboard can be a wonderful medium to work with, but you've got to be mindful of what you're doing with it. As you can see, it, it bent beautifully and it'll stay in any position I want it to. But if you use your fingers to bend it, you're going to ruin it. So just use a ruler or anything flat and, and hard and fold it over. This would be a good way to um, do bay windows and that kind of thing if you were building as well. It's a little flimsy at the moment, but it won't be for very long. This is the back. I've just marked the same measurements as the dotted lines previously, and I'm going to score them as well because I want to fold them the same way that I did the front of the screens. But I can bend this with my fingers because it's so much bigger, so it's not going to be an issue. It's just learning how to use cardboard. It's great stuff, and it's free. I've, as you can see, I've used the shiny side because, I, as I said, I want it to be nice and smooth without corrugations. And I gave them a good spray of um, black. The black spray that I used is one that you would use on metal and wood and that kind of thing because that shiny stuff is not porous and it's not going to it's not going to dry. It'll be tacky forever. This I'm going to lighten on the inside with some regular white, sort of like a. a a house paint primer because I'm I'm going to put lights in this and uh, in my mind if I put some uh, lighter paint in there it will help illuminate the uh, the inside from behind the screens I'm not sure how effective this was but uh, it turned out really good so you know I'd probably repeat the same process you don't have to be neat I'm just trying to help catch a little more light so it'll reflect using just some cheap plastic that's from some sort of packaging and I'll cut it the same size as or well just sorry slightly bigger than the monitor screens because I need to be able to glue them in later just behind of course 
and some printouts that I did at my local library, just, you know, things I wanted to um, maybe put onto my little plastic screen. I uh, chose quite a few and made sure that they were different sizes because I wanted to make sure it would fit. I didn't even know what size I was going to make this when I printed these. I just sort of went ham and printed multiples of this of different sizes because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to screw it up once I got home and just everything kind of fits neatly behind at least one particular size and I picked ones that were um, sort of a cohesive colour like I picked a blue theme so it wouldn't look too crazy and I gave them a cut out and I didn't make them perfectly even right away because I had to sort of cut them to fit on my little plastic a nice uh, amount of I've used a thick wood glue dries crystal clear this stuff it's excellent and then I put it on the face of the uh, paper I know it looks wrong when I'm doing this but you'll see uh, how it works and then very liberally and evenly spread it I use my fingers because a brush uh, it, it doesn't quite work it starts to dry too quickly when you use a brush and I want it to stay wet so I can get it really nice and even I want to get as many air bubbles out of this as possible and just gently pat it down you could find something to weigh it or roll it or it will slide around on the plastic you'll find but um play around with it you know, do a, a test one before you you know do the real thing to save mucking around if you like and then just keep pressing it until you get it nice and even you can see there it's still got a few air bubbles in it but I'm not terribly phased about it it's not perfect but I'm making this as an example to show you because I'm, I'm playing around with lighting so you know this is for future builds for myself so I thought I'd use this as a video for it but as you can see it looks terrible right now <laughs> but it, it dries perfectly and the moisture comes up through the paper so you don't have to worry about it thinking oh god it's never going to dry it dries quite quickly it works very very well I'm going to do three of them and uh, when they're dry they come out quite good I mean you can't really see the um, air bubbles anymore and especially when there's light behind them you can't see it at all you see when I pop them in behind they already look really good I mean you could do them like this without lights and they still look really good that's a good thing going all upside down <laughs> You can see it's got a bit of a curve because it's dried too quickly and that's a note too when you're drying things like this don't dry them quickly don't put a hair dryer on it or set it in the sun it will dry too quickly and it will buckle even more but just gently weigh them down and um, they'll flatten I've got the back ready to put in I've glued them in I used super glue very very carefully and they look really nice I like them you can tell already it's going to look great with uh, with lights in it I'm using these little tiny string lights these are great they're super cheap and they're very nice and flat pack I like them for all sorts of things and there's ten on this so you know I've got three for each panel and a spare <laughs> I played around with the lights so you could see so I've turned the light off and then I've put another overhead light on to put in behind it now this little ring light is very very bright and you can see it pouring in behind the actual piece of plastic and then I put the little tiny string light on and you'll see that um, I mean it doesn't look particularly bright but when I put it behind this it's as bright as the uh, the ring light was so you can see how much light really really comes through these you don't need a great deal of light because you probably think that as I would always think all the time I'm going to put it down and it's going to be too dark but um, light comes through the paper extremely well it's fantastic I'm going to do all sorts of projects using this technique I pop a little hole in the back where I'm going to thread my uh, my lights through it needs to be a little tiny hole because these lights are so small 
It's one of the reasons I really, really like them. They're just... Uh, and I'd love to use things like LED lights and that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, this is kind of a budget, you know, channel. So it's, you know, dollar store kind of stuff that everyone can do. I just thread them all through very carefully. I don't know how robust these lights are. I've never broken any, but... Um, I mean, so far, so good. <laughs> This um, little piece, the back, I, I decided to thread it through because it was just too bulky hanging out the back and I had plenty of space inside. You just want to leave enough room to put your little flat pack and make sure that the little tab is facing outwardly so if you ever want to change the batteries it's not going to be an issue. I just hot glue them on. Sparingly too, so it's not lumpy and bulky. Everything I do I try to do... Um, you know, minimalistically so everything stays compact fold it up glue it in and then just thread them across it looks like a dog's breakfast in there but you're not going to notice that once the uh, the front panel is on there it doesn't look like much light either but it really really is it's it's phenomenal how well it comes through the paper and as you can see they're like pinpoints which really works on on two of them but not so much the center one so that's a learning curve for me you could really utilize those little pinpoints of light. You see how beautifully it works on that one. I mean, it's just, uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And the one on the left as well. You know, it, they look out of line, but it still works. The one in the center, not so much. But you can see how strong the uh, illumination is. Very good. I'm just going to um, now seal it all up. I'm going to use some coffee stirrers because I didn't really have anything else to work with. I think some zip ties would probably be good on this if you had them the right width, depending on how big your monitors are. And I'm just going to cut them to size, you know, two angular pieces for top and bottom. And uh, the rest are just straight bits. I just, you know, laid them down, measured them, cut them to size. And that's all of them. Looks like a little boat. <laughs> that's all of them, top and bottom, and then two side pieces. I was considering in painting them black. I did give them a spray of black and then for some reason I just thought I'd do them silver. Which, I mean, I think black turns out neater. But the silver doesn't look terrible. I noticed that um, this one looked better a little bit uh, duller. I, I slid a piece of paper in and out to, to see how it would go. And it really kind of pulled away from the little points of light for that centre one. I mean, it's not completely done. It maybe could have been darker. You could maybe cover pinpoints. I don't know. This is an experiment. But I did end up um, just cutting it smaller and sliding it in there and leaving it in there so it's not quite so bright. Now I'm going to seal it all up with these silver bits. You can see that they're wood. That's the one thing that irks me a little bit about this. The zip ties would have been really good or anything else. But I didn't have anything else, so uh, coffee stirrer as it was. It's a little untidy. It needs a bit of filler and a little more silver paint on there. But this is it. It's, it's basic, but it came out really good. This has so much potential when you look at it. I mean, I've done, you know, a really simplistic um, thing with this. But the cleverness of it is uh, nothing but the actual printouts themselves. I mean, look how superior that is to putting paint down by hand. And the way the light comes through is, is greater than you would think it would be. So you could get away with doing just about anything using these sort of printouts. You know, you think about signs and, um, you know, even just a TV screen or a control panel or whatever. You know, it's kind of the sky's the limit when you really start thinking about using this and different kind of lights in the back. And it's just... Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting to think about. Well, I hope you got something out of this, because I sure did, and I hope to see you next time.